I'm Barry Mayo. I was one of the cameramen, one of the many cameramen who were involved on the Hoffa Train project over quite a long period of time in the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, and I've just had a look at the first reel that's been digitally restored by, by Drew Berry. That's part of his project to restore the entire documentary film, which is amazing in the quality that he has produced so far is quite astonishing. He asked me to say a few words about the Hover Train project, which was one of these great visionary projects which started life in the 60s and 70s and then got cancelled by Corpse's government. It was a very interesting project to work on. Two things stand out from looking at the footage so far. Now, the first is how relaxed filmmakers were in those days in the pace of the films that they created. Compared to what you would expect to see today, it's quite slow moving and takes its time and lets things happen at their own pace in front of the camera, which is quite refreshing and relaxing. And the second thing that is really interesting is just what everybody looks like, because they look very much like the archetypal British workers of the 50s and yet this was shot in the late 60s and it's as though the, uh, the swinging 60s just passed them by. I have one lasting memory of the project and that is of this very impressive futuristic vehicle traveling along an elevated concrete track um, at about 10 miles an hour with sparks leaping out from the contacts uh, on the track which were supplying the power and I have to say that at that time I got the impression that mm, this wasn't going to go the whole distance and so it proved to be which is in one way the shame. Thank you.